Time now for our rants and raves of the week, starting with you, Dan. I have a rave for uh, Muckrock, a Boston-based news organization that specializes in public records. Uh, I should say that mm -hmm. they were the heroes in one of the WGBH yes. News Muzzle Awards yes. we just gave out a few weeks ago. Uh, Muckrock has started a new project. They've, they're putting together a database of hundreds of thousands of federal and state mm -hmm. Freedom of Information Act requests for, from the, to the federal government and states all over the country that journalists can search to try to get an idea of, you know, how to make a FOIA request in a way that mm. will get results and what gets you rejected. And they're at the very beginning stages of this. Uh, it's an interesting idea. Uh, we'll see what well, comes of it. they're certainly good at it. So. They're terrific. Yeah, Absolutely they're, they're terrific. Really yeah, so mm -hmm. I hope that works. All right, we got Kelly. Okay, so um, I have a rant. Uh, this is a, a Fox rant. They had a guy on for years, Wayne Simmons, who's 62, who claimed to be a CIA terrorism expert. Many years, many shows, espousing stuff. He's a complete fraud. <laughs> he is now going to jail. Really? Um, I mean, he's, he's done everything. He's, I, I, it's just the list of all the stuff that he was fraudulent about just goes on and on and on. So. My thing is not just about this one incident, but I think a few years ago there was some discussion about a few of these generals and whatever that yeah. popped up that hadn't been quite vetted by uh, all of the news organizations that use them. You know, you see somebody, they got, it looks like they have a star, or they say they do, and you just prop them up on the thing, and there, there they are doing tactical kind of discussion. And they may be a complete fraud like this guy, or somebody who just doesn't know what he's talking about, and, or she. And they had you know? undisclosed interests that and might have posed a conflict, exactly. if I recall. That's exactly yeah. right. What's so, he going to jail for? Oh, my God. Let's see. He had <laughs> firearms. Oh. He's got, I mean, it, this, this guy was just, he defrauded the government. In 2008, when he got work as a team leader in an army program, and again in 2010, when he was deployed to Afghanistan as an intelligence advisor. But it's not for defrauding advisor. flocks, huh? No. Yeah, they I probably mean, didn't care. Oh, come on, that's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no, I, think, I don't think they want to have somebody who doesn't, you know. And he, oh, by the way, here's a big picture of him speaking to the Citizens Commission on Benghazi. That's just the kind of uh -huh. testimony you want from a guy who's a complete fraud. He has no military or intelligence background or any skills relevant to the positions he attained through his fraud, said the U.S. Attorney for the. Wow. Eastern District mm. of Virginia. We just got to be careful when we mm. put these people up there. He'll be back. Maybe he went to military high school. <laughs> He's like, on uh, Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, certified. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, you know, one of the most frustrating things that happens to a journalist is when you're interviewing someone, particularly in a political campaign, uh, and you know you've got the facts, and they absolutely will not acknowledge the facts. You know, the sun rose in the east. Well, no, it didn't rose in the west, and you go back and forth. And, and how you deal with this is, again, one of the toughest things. Well, Chris Cuomo... This is a, a rave for Chris Cuomo, um, who had enough of this in talking to Paul Manafort about uh, Melania Trump's plagiarism the other night. Uh, I think he finally found the answer, and I don't know if we have the, a clip on this or, or yeah. not. Move the on. words were on. the same that Michelle Obama. But I can't move on because you keep lying about it, so I can't move on from it exactly. because I have Chris, to I'm talk about, about what is true. At one point, Chris Cuomo simply said to Paul Manafort, I'm going to keep on this because you keep lying yeah. about yes, it. Yes. And it was just that very blunt. And then he lied about and then, lying. And yes. then, that's <laughs> the point, when he came right back at that it. Was so, a good uh, yes. yeah, but ultimately, I thought, you know what? Good for you, Chris. Finally, mm -hmm. you put the right word on that action, yeah. and uh, at least you felt better. No need to sugarcoat yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. All yeah. right, John, what do you got? A uh, quick rave for one of the most beleaguered groups of journalists in the country, the fact checkers, mm. PolitiFact. Uh, the Washington Post a fact checker, uh, factcheck.org, many, NPR has a fact checking unit. They did yeoman work on Thursday night during Donald Trump's speech. Uh, and there was plenty of material for them yeah. to fact check. And uh, I realize an increasingly uh, growing number of my fellow citizens don't care about facts. That's become evident in this campaign. But, you know, damn it, we should care because that's the basic currency of truth. And uh, these people get reviled from both the left and the right for their fact-checking. Yes. I believe they deserve a standing ovation from all serious citizens. Well, it goes yes. back to what Tom says. You know, you're arguing something that's inarguable, but right. there's, there's always somebody, you know, coming up with the other side of something. And they call yeah. them out on it. They yeah. do. Yeah. Unfortunately, there have been studies that show that, that 
exposing the lie reinforces the lie yeah. in the minds of the exactly. people who had believed it. That they was just Cass believe Sunstein it even did more. That study. Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Are you going to believe me or you're lying on? Right. Right. <laughs> right. We've danced around this discussion a couple times tonight, but I have a rave for Jarrett Hill. He is the unemployed reporter who is sitting in a Starbucks cafe somewhere in California. And Melania Trump's speech sounded familiar to him. He gets out his phone, he Googles it. Before he knows it, he, he tweets out very rapidly that, that she had borrowed some phrases. And then he went back and looked at the whole speech from Michelle Obama. Says, and then he tweets again, wait a minute, it's way more than a couple of words. It's a couple of paragraphs. So mm -hmm. he was the one who really got that mm. ball rolling. And apparently, and I certainly hope, I don't know why he's unemployed. I, I certainly hope something good comes mm -hmm. out of this for him. You should get I, I thought, hired I by a fact he, No, I heard he was up for a job at CNN that same week. Mm. Yeah, ah. I hope he got it. The scary yeah. thing is maybe you yeah. have to be unemployed to have the time to do the yeah. proper yeah. double fact check. Yes. That's really yeah. appalling. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh -huh. Well, that is it for our show. Tell us what you think. Email us, tweet us, or leave a comment. We're always on at beatthepress.org.